Hello, everyone. We are back for our third bad ending, and then I'm gonna try some different things with our last two. But same dealio as last time, but this time, Red Riding Hood, who's going to break our heart. Let's go. I've decided to choose Red Riding Hood. At this, the wizard smiled brightly. I see. He's a hard worker, so I'm sure he'll make you happy. Yeah. Smiling, I nodded. Then he rose from the sofa. Well then, the crisis has been averted. Looks like I'm done here. Thank you for everything, Mr. Wizard. No, I barely did anything at all. You were the one who made the choice. I wish the two of you all the best. Thank you. Later, I waited for the chance to speak to Red privately. Naturally, I wanted to tell him my decision. Red! What's the matter, Miss Orisa? I've made my decision, and I choose you. What? I'm in love with you, so... At my unexpected declaration, he looked at me with his eyes as round as saucers. Boop. Then he averted his gaze and took a step backwards. Uh, Red? I'm very sorry. While I'm flattered you feel that way, I am not worthy of you. What? I'm afraid I cannot marry you. And there you have it, folks. Once again, rejection town. Are we gonna go back to the cabin again? Since him and Snow White are so similar. Possibly. Possibly. Alright. Let's get through all these shenanigans again. I wonder why the first time it was so important to say yes to pick someone again. What did that... I guess because we had the flash back to here. That's what's important. But you don't really need it for the ones going forward. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright. Just gotta get back on track. So many flashbacks. Maybe I can avoid some of these next time. That'd be fun. We'll find out. Alright, here we go again. In the end, we failed to learn the truth before the night of the full moon. Seeing as the blackmail letter specified the moon, I figured they would probably wait until night to try anything. Trembling in fear of my imminent demise, I headed to the living room. Oh. Lights on. When I arrived, I found it very quiet. So I made breakfast and waited for them just like always. But no matter how long I waited, no one ever came. Any minute now, Cinderella or Red Riding Hood would walk in the door and greet me with a smile. Maybe they had to leave early today. I sat at the table, surrounded by plates of food and empty chairs, and waited. But no matter how long I waited, no one ever came. Eventually, the whole place started to feel foreign. Frightened, I ran out of the house. Yeah, back to the woods. What happened? I walked through the forest. There were no signs of life. No humans, no animals. Just the crunch of dead leaves underfoot. Red. Fearfully, I wrapped my arms around myself. I wished he was with me, but it was too late now. Yeah, back to the cabin again. What's this? After a few minutes of walking, I found a tiny cabin. After confirming it was empty, I stepped inside. Is anyone home? I called out, but no one answered. Everything was painted white. I was all alone, save for the occasional crackle of the wood-burning stove. I dragged my aching feet to the window and threw open the curtains. Time had passed in a blink. The sun had set and all had gone dark. It's a full moon. As soon as the words left my lips, I felt a hard impact against my back. No squishy squish. Before I knew what had happened, I lost my balance and collapsed on the spot. I'm sorry. 
Lying on my stomach, I could feel a weight on my back. I tried to fight them, but then I felt a sharp pain in my neck. Then my consciousness began to fade and my eyes closed. And just like that, my world was consumed by the darkness. Why the different methods of murder? That's why I'm like, is it the wizard or is it each of the boys? <laughs> Suddenly you find yourself lost in a world of darkness. Where am I? I keep walking and walking, but I can't seem to find a single exit. It's so dark, I can't see a thing. I can't even tell how far I've walked or how much time has passed. No matter where you go, the scenery around you remains static and unchanging. It's like the darkness has consumed everything. All sense of direction. Even the very concept of time itself. Were you to stand perfectly still and hold your breath, the only sound would be that of your own heartbeat. What am I doing here? Who am I? But no one was there to answer me. There was only darkness and nothing more. I don't know. I don't know anything. Alright. Failed heroine, Red Riding Hood story. Alright. Once again, not too much there, just the fact that each time she gets taken out, it's a different thing. So, one thing I did pick up on is that where she dies is tied directly to the boy she picked as well. Like, Cinderella, um, she was killed in the mansion where he spent his early childhood days. Red and Snow White, we were killed in the cabin, which makes sense. So does that mean Kaguya and Gretel will be at the cafe? Possibly. Kaguya might be at the lake, too, but we'll see. Kaguya's next, so we'll find out next time. See you guys there!